Okay, this is just a real quick demonstration on how to tail a lobster and try to get the most meat out of it. Um, <clears throat> you can just uh, break it right up by the tail, which is what a lot of guys do. But I found out if you use a knife and a pair of shears and a pair of gloves, it makes it a lot easier. Um, just some real quick stuff about the lobster. This one is a male lobster. Um, the swimmerettes are real small on the males. The females have a great big uh, a rounder one that covers up almost the entire body. When you're doing this, it's going to spill. You're going to get a little bit of a kind of a bluish fluid will come out. That's lobster blood. So you want to make sure you clean that out uh, as soon as possible. Otherwise, once it dries, it dries real hard, just like glue. Okay, the lobster is actually the you can't really tell, but the shell has a little filament, a little membrane that kind of seals it and kind of almost makes it watertight. So what you want to do is cut through that seal and that way everything will kind of fall apart. So I'm going to cut right here in the back of the carapace. And I just insert the tip of the knife and kind of cut up on the carapace. I'm going to flip it over and right here next to the legs, I'm going to insert the blade and cut here too. And one more time, the exact same thing on the other side. Now this lobster is dead. I froze it. I usually, when I bring my bugs home, or my lobsters home rather, I freeze them first just to knock them out so they're dead because I kind of feel bad doing it when they're alive. And the last thing I'm going to do is cut this membrane here. So I insert the knife in and it comes right through. Now the nice part about this is, is the amount of meat that's going to come out of the tail is going to be a lot more than if we just tore the tail off or broke it at an angle or anything like that, which is another way that we usually do it. We do it sometimes. Um, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the tail down, grab the upper carapace with the, my left hand, and I always use gloves because spiny lobsters have such thick spines on them, and I'm going to pull forward. So you can see how the tail meat pretty much just pulls right out at this rate. I'm going to just cut this part right up here too. And a lot of this would have stayed inside the body had I not cut it through. Um, there's still a lot of other meat that's up on the top of the lobster. You can kind of see it up here. I actually use that when I make my lobster bisque. So I'm going to actually clean out all the entrails later, make a nice bisque out of it. And the last thing you want to do is, uh, if you're getting ready to prep the tail, inside here is the last part of the digestive tract. And there's two ways to get it out. You can either um, stick the antenna in backwards, which and if you put it right through the anus and twist it, the entire lower part of the GI tract will come out. And that's one way you can do it. And the other way that I like to do it is uh, I bought a pair of heavy duty shears um, at one of the markets. And if I'm doing a lobster dish, if you're going to broil the whole lobster tail, of course you're going to keep it the way it is. But the way that I like to cook my lobsters, especially the ones that might be a little bit larger, is to actually. Uh, um, take the meat out of it, and this is by far the easiest way. You, you can't use regular scissors to break. The lobster tail is too hard, but the shears zip right through it. And this shiny stuff that's on the end of my gloves, by the way, is um, shugu from uh, the hardware store. I put them on the tips of my gloves, and it makes my lobster gloves last a lot longer when I'm diving. And basically you just split the tail open. If you're going to barbecue it, you can throw that on the grill just the way it is. But like I said, we're going to be prepping this meat for a type of stir fry. So I'm going to just peel it out. You can see how clean it comes out of the lobster. And you can't really see it, but the cutting board is now covered with a, a fluid. That's not just salt water. A lot of that is... Uh, uh, the lobster blood and like I said we're going to make sure that we clean that out. So now we have a nice big hunk of meat. It's bluish in color again because of the, the blood that's on it. I'm going to rinse it in some salt water and, and cube it up and we'll be ready to go. But that by far is one of the easiest ways to tail a lobster and try to get the most meat out of it.